Welcome back to my three-part video series all about functions. This is video three in the series, but actually part of our whole foundations course. And I'm excited to share with you today how to use functions to capture information. In the first two function series videos, I taught you the basics of how functions can be used to send users from one place in the AI chatbot to a very specific place and share specific information. In this video, I'm gonna show you probably the most popular way that functions are used to capture user information. Now the AI, it's very smart. It knows how to ask questions, but once it's asked those questions, where is it saving the content that you need captured and then how do you send people to the right place after that content is captured? Apart from just the functions I'm gonna teach you about, I'm also gonna show you how you can integrate Google Sheets so that as the AI is capturing information, it is then sent over to Google Sheets through an action. So let's get started. What we're going to do first and foremost is figure out what it is that we want to capture. In this example, I'm gonna capture the first name, the last name, and the email address. And I am going to send this data to Google Sheets. This is just an example of one of the many things you can do. In this example, I'll be sending the data to Google Sheets. So in order to do that, I'm going to go to my settings. I'm going to go to integrations and I'm going to go to Google Sheets. Now, if you have yet to connect to Google Sheets, go ahead and click the connect button and follow the prompts to connect. Once you've done that, you're going to go to manage and you need to add your Google Sheet to your managed accounts here. So it won't just work. We have to add the Google Sheet link. So we'll just go share and copy the link. And we'll go back here and we'll click add. And this one is called IG comment automation leads. And then we'll put the link to that specific spreadsheet. All right, now we have the spreadsheet in. Now we have the Google Sheets in. We're gonna go to our flows and we're gonna build out the flow in which the AI will send the user and all that data to once it collects it. So we're gonna go to create a flow. I already created one, I just haven't filled it out yet. This is just your basic starting step. In this case, the starting step is actually gonna be an action. And I'm gonna go to action. And over here, we're gonna add content, actions, Google Sheets. We're gonna make this our starting step. So we'll click the play button. This is now our starting step. And we're gonna click on Google Sheets. We're gonna send the data. We have to select which one of our spreadsheets that we assign. So we're gonna do the IGCA leads, the first sheet, and then we're gonna connect the dots here. So the custom field for first name goes to first name. The custom field for last name goes to last name. And where we save our email goes to email. Click save. When the function is triggered, the AI collects everything and everything is saved. It will then go to this flow, which you'll see when we set up the function and it immediately will send this information right here to our Google Sheet. Now I'm not done yet because in this case, I wanna set up a guide on how to properly set up these comment growth tools. And I wanna do it in the same way that I showed you in my last video about functions where I had an embedded version for web chat and then I had a different version for non-web chat. So to do that, we're gonna to go to conditions and our next step, so we'll go to continue. So as soon as it sends, it's gonna to go to the next step automatically because I'm going here. It will go to the condition. Let's set up our condition. The condition is going to be current channel. We're gonna select web chat because that's our differentiator, save. If it's a web chat, they will go here. And if it's not a web chat, they will go here. So let's start with where they're going with the web chat. I just happen to have the ability to embed my lead magnet. So I'm going to go to simple book is where I host my lead magnets. Again, this is just an example. You do not have to do it exactly like this. I'm going to go and get my embedded code. And back to my build, we'll just paste that in the text box there. Okay, so that's done for web chat. Now for everyone else, they're not going to have web chat. So you could do a lot of things here. You can add a file and I can just put the actual file for this guide in there. I can add it as a card and send them the link. There's, there's a lot of options. It's really about how you've set up your lead magnet. In my case, I'm gonna do it as a text box with a button. And we're just gonna grab the link in this case and then open a website, add the link and save. And again, you can add an action to add a tag here. There's a lot of things you could do. These are just examples. So the flow is done at this point. So we're going to publish it. Now we're not done because we have to create the function. Now this is going to be different than the functions I've created in the past. So you definitely want to watch this part. We're going to go to integrations, open AI. We're going to go down to functions and 
ad. So the name of this is Instagram Automation, All right? And then what does this do? Gives the users a guide on how to properly set up an Instagram automation with Chatbot Builder. All right, and then the data. Now in this case, we are collecting data. So we're gonna add our three data points. So the first one that I wanted was first underscore name, and we're gonna assign that to first name. So over here is what we're calling it. And I always like to do this in lower cases with these underscores, cause that helps the AI to read that information. And then the next one is last underscore name. And then we'll put that under last name. And then we'll just say user underscore email. And again, to email. So you can add all kinds of things in here. It's all about what do you want the AI to ask and what do you want the AI to save and where do we want to save it? Then select the flow. That's the flow that we just created and hit continue. Now we're not done yet. As you know, if you've watched the other function videos, we're going to go back to our integrations. We're going to go back to open AI and back to our master prompt. And the first thing we're going to do is add our function here. So Instagram automation guide it should be blue. That means it's selected. And then we're going to go into our master prompt and add that call to action. Once information on how to properly set up an Instagram comment automation, send them to function Oops, that's not true. Ask them if they would like to receive our Instagram automation setup guide. And if so, ask them first for their first name, last name, and email address before sending them to the function Instagram underscore automation underscore guide. Now with any prompt, you are going to want to test this out and make sure it works properly. And you might have to tweak the prompt here just to make sure that the AI is performing exactly how you want it to click continue. And this is now ready to rock. So we can actually test this. I'm hoping to get information on how to properly set up an Instagram comment automation. Absolutely. I can help you with that to provide you with the Instagram automation guide. I need your first name, last name, email address. Yes. My name is Susan Noble. And now it's asking for the email address, but check this out. Why do you need my email address? Now in a traditional rules-based chatbot, this would break the bot right here, but the AI understands it's explaining. And then it allows me to go ahead and now give my email address, All right? There's my email address. And now it should send me access to the guide. And because I'm on the web chat, it's going to send it via this embedded thing. Now let's go see if this worked. And there it is. Sue Noble. Sue is fake. So as you could see, it worked like a charm. I hope you enjoyed learning about functions as part of our foundational course. Be sure to subscribe to the playlist as well as this channel, as we're going to continue to teach you the basics of building AI chatbots that are going to blow you away. In upcoming videos, I'm gonna teach you how to connect Chatbot Builder AI to your Facebook as well as your Instagram. I'm gonna teach you how to do comment automations the right way so you stay out of trouble and so many more things. So stay tuned and let me know what kind of questions you have in the comments below.